feet. Hold on a minute. Are you sure you're not spending too much money on that tent you're about to buy? I'm Peter from carcampingtips.com and this video is all about the different price, the different tent categories that are out there as well as the price range that you can expect so you can make a more informed decision and find a tent that fits your needs. So step one to finding the right tent that fits your needs is to find out what those needs are. Really, there's just a few categories to think about, one being durability, the size of the tent, the weight of the tent, as well as how weatherproof the tent is. Now, with those things in consideration, the next step is to find out what category, what type of camper that you're planning to be, because that will impact what tent you are. Now, not everyone fits into snugly into one category, but I try to think of all the different tents that are out there, and everyone kind of will fit loosely, at least loosely, into each of these categories. So, we have people who are going to camp maybe once or twice, that's all they're planning to do, casual car campers, backpackers, long-term campers, people who are camping in extreme weather conditions, ultralight backpackers, as well as there's lots of specialty campers that we'll talk about in some tents that go along with it. All right, so the first category, people who are going to go camping maybe once or twice. If you are new to camping or you don't plan on getting into camping, it's kind of intimidating to pick a tent because you don't know what you don't know. And for this reason, I highly suggest not to buy a tent at all. The ideal price range for someone who is about to start camping is zero. Make sure, I would suggest to go borrow a tent from a friend. Reason being that you are going to pick a tent that's going to fit your needs and uh, if you're wanting to invest in a tent in the future. And so the best thing is to not, you know, to, to go experience a tent, go, go try a tent that you are, um, rather than purchasing a tent and then um, without any knowledge of what it's like to camp in a tent, what it's like to pitch a tent. And also, if you're not really planning on getting into camping, there's no reason to go out and buy one. They're, they're kind of, they, nice ones can be expensive depending on the quality of the tent. So the price range, if you are planning on getting one, even if you're just going a couple times, you can a cheap tent you can pick up from anywhere from $40 to $100. The next category is the casual car camper. And this is where most, I don't know about most, but a lot of people fit into this category. Um, and the range for um, just casual car camping is anywhere from $40 to $200. If you are planning on going camping three to four times a year, and especially if you're planning on bringing your family, um, there's lots of tents in this price range that can accommodate you. There's, ten per there's two person tents, four person, six, eight, all the way up to 10. You can find tents of these sizes very comfortably within the $200 range. And these tents will um, even will have lots of features that are geared towards families, such as places to put people's shoes and there's pockets for electronics and plugs that you and outlets that you can put cords in from if your campsite has electricity so that you can have electricity within your tent. All of these features um, will fit within the, that $200 range. And you can definitely get a tent that will last you several years um, if you, especially on the upper end of that price range. Um, so that, that's um, really, that's it for that category. The next category is backpackers. Backpackers have completely different needs than car campers. Car campers are not really concerned about weight, but backpackers are because you have to you know, haul that tent for potentially 10 to 15, 20 miles in one day. And um, it, even if it's five pounds too heavy, that's a lot of weight that you don't want to be carrying around. So really the, the, the rule of thumb that you want to stick around is around uh, about five pounds per every two people. And so the price range for a backpacking tent is anywhere from $50 to $250. Um, and the reason why the price is, is more than a, a car camping tent is because um, as the quality and the weight of the materials go down, the price goes up. All right, the next category are long-term campers. If you are going to be camping for perhaps weeks at a time, or even just for a, a consecutive week, and you are going to have a lot of foot traffic in and out of your tent, you might want to consider thinking about canvas tents. These canvas tents are extremely heavy. Um, they can, I mean, they, they, there's lightweight options or lighter weight options, but for the, for the most part, these tents, they're made of thicker cotton fabrics or uh, other types of fabrics, but um, they are very durable. That's kind of the benefit of this. And so they're gonna last you a long time. They can withstand a lot of, of, of use and they're not going to, um, they're not going to um, 
be damaged by the sun as much just because that fabric is a lot more resilient. But they're, they're very heavy, so they work great for base camps. Um, hunter, hunters and fishermen, if they are in a, a long you know, trek and um, trip, they might um, use a pack horse to haul, help haul up a canvas tent that's going to be you know, the base of operations um, in the wilderness. Um, and, or if you're, you're going to a place that you're going to be, uh, and it's a drive-to campsite, but you're still going to have quite a bit of traffic in and out, and it's expecting a lot of use, then canvas is, 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 is the way to go. Now, for the price range for this type of tent, you can see anything from starting to $200 for the smaller tents and all the way up to $1,500. Really, it, it, it corresponds with the size of the tent, how many people you're going to fit inside that tent. But um, for the most part, you're going to see around $600 to $700 for like six to eight people tents. So that's kind of the middle of that range. The next category are extreme weather tents. Now, um, there's a lot of names for these that you, you will see. Um, typically, you'll see four season tents. Now, um, these categories are not exactly scientific. It's just basically whatever the tent manufacturer decides to advertise a tent as. And so um, what you want to look at is the thickness of the fabric. Um, and so that is going to make it so the tent is going to be heavier. And there, um, there's also such things as snow skirts that you will see um, advertised for some tents. But really, um, the term that you want to, the, the start, the tent, the place where you want to look are tents with the, the word four season attached to it. Um, these tents can be used to camp in the snow. That's what I'm talking about when I'm thinking about extreme weather or high winds. They have more extensive staking capabilities, um, being able to stake it out and ensure that the wind doesn't impact your, your tent or um, if you're camping in the snow and wanting to stay warm in those conditions. They are um, typically you're going to see tents in this in this um, category that don't have the mesh inner wall. They are going to be all uh, all covered up, and that's that. The purpose of that is to um, retain the heat better. Um, but ventilation is also very important in this. So those are features that you want to pay attention to is if there's adequate ve ventilation, because if you have too little ventilation, then you'll get water condensing, and being wet and cold is not a good combination. And, or if there's too much ventilation where uh, the cold's getting in and it's getting too drafty. So the price range for this um, varies a lot. You can find some starting in around the $100 range all the way up to $400. Um, and again, it's more difficult to find, old, uh, find light options because um, there's extra fabric that is going into these, these four season tents because of the thicker fabric. The next category is ultra light backpacking. Now this is a, a different category than backpacking because, well, ultralight. As you'll, uh, if you talk to anyone who's into ultralight, it's there's a very passionate community dedicated to getting their weight down as low as possible. And this is really for people who are doing those really long hikes. I'm talking who are going to be hiking for a few months at a time, um, such as the hikers going down the Appalachian Trail, which is a very popular through hike. So um, ultralight, their, their goal is to be as light as possible. Um, and so the tent size, um, the really two point, you know, five pounds for two people is really the max that they want to be at. And one of the ways that these, back, these ultralight backpacking tents do that is that they, um, they sacrifice um, the tent poles. And so that you can find these backpacking tents that don't have tent poles at all. And, and instead, you can use your trekking poles, um, that your walking sticks that you that hikers often like to use, or even you can use sticks to prop up the tent. And that's one way that they cut down on that cost. And so as you can expect, if you are wanting to become ultra light and still have quality, strong materials that you can depend on in the wilderness, um, the price of those materials is, you know, can get very high. And that's why you can find the price, the, the price range for ultra light backpacking tents is all the way from $50 to $650 for, you know, that, that's where the vast majority of the tents are going to lie. And the, uh, the range is so high because there are some tents at $50 that are very reasonable and are ultra light and of, you know, qual decent quality that are um, probably not going to be as feature rich and well, probably going to be heavier than the, the more expensive counterparts, but not always. Um, so if you're just getting into ultralight, I highly recommend to not you know, buy the most expensive thing first, but instead to figure out what your needs are and to do your research. If, if the cheaper tent has the features that you need, just go with that. 
The next category are special specialty tents. Now, these are kind of fall outside of the normal categories, and so the prices will fluctuate wildly. Um, but there's plenty of glamping tents where, or glamour camping, where the you know the the price can start at two hundred dollars, but you can see tents all the way up to fifteen hundred dollars again for these glamping tents. The idea is to be as comfortable as as much like home as possible. Um, and another category, another type of tent are these rooftop tents that are are uh, or overlanding tents where they are the tent is actually sitting on top of the roof racks of your car your vehicle and they start at about eight hundred dollars all the way up to fifteen hundred dollars and uh, another category are um, portal edge camp uh, tents which the portal edge tents are the tents that you see when people are camping on the side of a cliff wall during a long rock climb such as on half dome um, and so very specific needs um, and so they um, because of that they are also very expensive starting at 800 to 1200 dollars so those are all the different camping categories and if you're concerned that you're not spending enough money that you are going to be getting settling for too cheap a tent if your budget doesn't allow for a more expensive tent there are some awesome ways to upgrade your tent and make it a little bit better for you um, without having to go and purchase the, the most expensive tents first there you can use ground cloths to protect the underside of your tent. Generally, this is very common for most people to do for most of their tents, but it's still an option that, um, and if you want to protect the bottom of your tent or um, prevent moisture from coming in, um, you can get, uh, you can use a ground cloth. Sometimes ground cloths come with a tent, often not, you have to buy them separately, and many people opt to use tarps or Tyvek wraps, uh, wrapping or um, roofing plastic, other, other options for protecting the underside of your tent and from keeping moisture out. Another option is to simply use another tarp. Just a cheap tarp can, be, can work wonderfully as an additional rain cover to your existing tent if you hang it above your tent, or um, additionally, you can use it as a wind screen for your tent um, uh, if you put it alongside. And thus, your cheap you know, $50 to $100 tent can be upgraded significantly by just um, a little bit more knot work and, an, and a tarp. Another upgrade option is waterproofing spray. Now, some people say that this is a must, no matter what kind of tent you get, but you can get waterproofing spray that will, um, such as the Kiwi waterproofing spray, which is one of the most common ones, that you can spray your tent um, to increase its waterproof waterproofing abilities um, to help keep rain out. And another option is to use seam sealer now seam sealer is something you can put along the seams this is most commonly where water is going to come into the tent and the, the cheaper tents often don't have the same level of treatment that the more expensive tents do if it, you're getting a nicer tent um, often you don't have to do this treatment because it's been done for you um, but seam sealer is one way that you can just put it along the seams and and, and increase the waterproofing ability of your tent and lastly you can do waterproofing tape this is, um, it's you know, similar in concept, but you can actually tape the seams of your tent and many tents will advertise that they have taped seams already so you don't have to do that. Um, and um, there, there is another one. And if your tent doesn't have a lot of ventilation, especially if you're in a four season tent, there are portable fans and we use a portable fan because we camp in Texas and it gets really hot and it makes a huge difference. Uh, makes your tent a lot more comfortable. And so if your tent is, doesn't have the best ventilation, you can upgrade by getting a portable fan and which works great for car camping not as much for backpackers but it works so we talked a lot about these categories and if you have kind of decided what category you fit into we made an article at carcampingtips.com slash tent prices that shows all of these categories as well as examples of tents in each category so you can you know these are just a good launch point if you are wanting to start doing your research to figure out what tent you want and i tried to pick tents that were well rated so that they are also good options if you want to buy one. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps.